the intelligent edge. What are the opportunities for businesses? And what are the obstacles that organizations face in order to fully benefit from it? But also, what are the steps to start today? Stacy Schulman, she's the Vice President, Internet of Things Group and GM Health, Life Science and Emerging Technologies at Intel. And she's here to update us about all the latest opportunities on the intelligent edge. Welcome, Stacy. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Let's start by thanking Intel for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. And to learn more about the exciting possibilities of the intelligent edge, you can click on the link in the post below. Let's dive straight into the topic. The intelligent edge is, is the next level of edge, and this brings a new level of innovation possibilities. Stacey, can you share and give some examples? Yeah, I mean, we're seeing this explode everywhere as you look across what's happening, even in just infrastructure improvements across the across the globe. Um, you know, we're, we're seeing things like telehealth and uh, broadband being put in place for telehealth. And we're, we're seeing um, ex explosions in the healthcare industry overall with more intelligence into every medical device. We're seeing um, changes at the intelligent edge for education. Um, you know, uh, instructors being able to broadcast directly from the classroom. Uh, we're seeing changes in, in the retail environment and in hospitality um, with um, taking every store and turning it into a distribution center. And so we're seeing this in pretty much every vertical that we touch, that there's an explosion of intelligence at the edge that, that, is, that is here. It's always been here, but it's really um, taking off more than, more than we've ever seen it. And uh, it's, it's, an, it's an exciting time for the intelligent edge. Yeah, and I think it's some great cases, and whether it's in, in retail or it's in telehealth or in any other industry, um, I think you're closely involved with these organizations when they develop these new type of, of solutions. Can you explain what kind of challenges these organizations face when they implement the new intelligent edge solution? Yeah, I think the biggest challenge right now is just the speed of innovation when you look across what's going on. You know, in the past, the way that people were handling innovation, you know, in, in pretty much any industry, is you would take a new app, you would take a new solution, and you would put it on a device at the edge. And you would do that. Uh, multiple times. Well, that that's unsustainable. It, you can't sustain taking and, and dropping another computer, another server into, you know, or at the edge for every application that you have and that you're building. And it doesn't matter how big or small that computer is. Um, it's almost worse if it's it's a series of tablets um, that are purpose built. And so one of the bigger challenges is how do you take all of those things and create an infrastructure at the edge that really mimics what we see in the cloud data data providers. So how do we cloudify that edge and create platforms that allow you to take these different applications and put them side by side and, and allow them to interoperate um, on the same platform? That infrastructure is, is probably the biggest challenge that we're seeing right now. And it's not just the infrastructure, we're also seeing some challenges in the industry as a whole, on in the ecosystem as a whole on providing the right software solutions for that to happen. And so that's where Intel has really been, um, I'll say putting a lot of our time and effort is how do we build up and mature that ecosystem and how do we provide solutions, whether it's in open source or directly with our, our software company um, uh, partners, how do we provide those types of solutions to solve for this and to ease that burden of how do you put the right um, platform in place? And then once you have the right platform in place, well, now you can really um, accelerate your level of innovation out at the edges. Yeah, and the right platform in the cloud is, is quite important because implementing this kind of intelligent edge solutions is a team sport. Can you give us some insights in, in the different roles that are involved from, let's say, the ID up to a fully skilled um, global solution? Yeah, I mean, the ecosystem is is pretty sophisticated when it comes to the intelligent edge. And, and this is where we're seeing a lot of the growth. So if you look at across that entire value chain or that entire ecosystem, you see, you know, we, of course, have the silicon player, the, the, the likes of Intel's. Um, you have the companies that are um, building the operating systems and the, the changes that you have to make in the operating system even to enable the intelligent edge. There's there's quite a bit of work to do there. And then as we start rolling these out and implementing, we need the software companies that fully understand cloud 
cloud basic um, principles and how to put those at the edge. We need um, organizations that understand Docker, understand containerization. Um, we need the software development ecosystem to um, start moving their apps into microservices based apps or um, apps that can be containerized. And then we need um, the, the SIs to be able to implement that um, out at the edges. Now, implementing things out at the edges um, has another need. And that is, if you're implementing something physical, you also need, um, you need companies that can go out and do the physical implementation of that device um, or that compute. And so that's what, what it takes to install it. Now, what it takes to get the value out of it, there's a whole nother ecosystem involved there around understanding the workflow of the, of the end customer, understanding their pain points. So as an example, you know, you can implement a device in a surgical center, but that does AI, but you really truly under, need to understand the workflow of the surgeon so that you can serve up the information at the proper time in their workflow when they need it. And so we need an ecosystem that can do that as well. Um, overall, it's, it's a pretty complex ecosystem. And, and this is where we believe Intel comes in is we're, we're quite good at connecting all the players in an ecosystem. And so when we, when I was talking through that value chain, I started with Intel kind of at the Silicon level, but really where we're at in, in addition to that is helping to orchestrate this ecosystem of players to be able to deliver these type of intelligent edge solutions. Definitely, and you can't do it alone anymore. So collaboration is key and the ecosystem for this is, is the foundation. Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> great new opportunities for the Intelligent Edge. If you want to learn more, click on the link in the post. And for the audience, thank you for watching. I will look forward to seeing you next time.